new tonight, a five alarm fire damaging homes, several homes in Kearney. We go out to News 12 New Jersey's Christy Kalishian live on the scene with the latest. Christy. Nick, I just saw some of the families that live in the houses right here. There are two, um, basically uh, a few here, actually five houses where families had to be evacuated, but the houses that were the hardest hit, um, the blue house uh, all the way to the right, that looks like, it's like a very light blue. I'm not sure if you could uh, really see it, but that's the house that is, uh, of course, where the fire started. I'm seeing some families walk out with some of their belongings. Right now, the Red Cross is taking care of them. And this went to five alarms. All the local police departments around here um, have been able to help out. And thankfully, we're hearing from the fire chief here in uh, Kearney that there were no injuries. We know that it's a very hot day. And of course, I had to ask if there were any injuries among the uh, family members or the firefighters. And he said, thankfully, uh, there were none. And uh, he said this was a rapid fire spread, of course. They heard this. They got a call at 10.30 this morning, and a lot of neighbors have been around here. There have been some coolers packed out here for the firefighters uh, full of water that residents put together. Here's actually what uh, one of the residents that we spoke with, Linda, had to tell us, and we also spoke with the fire chief. Here's what they had to tell us. The flames were shooting out so far that it was melting, and everyone was panicking. So all the fire departments, Belleville, Kearney, Jersey City, Harrison, North Arlington, everyone pitched in. They all came over. We bought cases of water out of our houses. We're going to maintain a fire watch through the evening. Um, and right now we're just picking up equipment, uh, try to get ourselves back in service, release any, any other mutual aid companies in town. Um, the investigation is going to be ongoing and, until, you know, for cause and determination. So in terms of what the cause of this fire is, that's not very clear yet. Um, and in terms of how many families have been displaced, those numbers really haven't been put out either. Uh, they didn't give us an exact number on that. But what I can tell you is that uh, the residents say um, at least three families live in the uh, blue house all the way to the right here. Of course, that was the hardest hit. So these are multiple family homes, lots of families, um, of course, affected by this. But thankfully, what we are hearing now is that there were no injuries among the firefighters or the family members here. And um, what what we did hear in terms of a cause, we're hearing that there was a pop or like an explosion before the fire took place this morning around 10:30 uh, a.m. Um, that's what we're hearing from neighbors. But at this time, uh, there's no cause that we really have set in place. And also in terms of the dis um, demolishment of these houses, uh, demolition of these houses, um, they're not really sure about that either. But they will be investigating. And that's the latest that we have here in Carney. Christy Kalishian, News 12, New Jersey. Back to you, Nick. Christy, thank you.